Greetings everyone, this is Michael Washington. I want to take you to a brief tour of the living room of the late great pioneer Clara Lupa's home. As you see here we see the old timey record player that played 45s. We also have a bookshelf and mirror. This is her couch where she would often meet with the community as well as the youth council for to stage set-ins and to address the concerns and issues regarding the African-American community. Right here you see her fireplace, you see various uh, whatnots and things that are sitting on top. Also pictures of her family, the telephone, the table sitting beside it. And a lot of people don't know Clara Lupa often played Scrabble with her family and friends here. Again, this is the living room where a lot of uh, sit-ins and organizations met to organize the movement for the African-American community. On a wall you see butterfly, whatnots and things of that nature. And also now moving toward more to the left you see various things that uh, Clara Lupa did. And also we hear her talking in the background. Let's hear what she has to say. Great, great. So, again, we'll move back over to the hat and gown that she wore. Uh, one Scrabble board here, as you see on the lower left, Scrabble pieces in a Scrabble bag. Also, the glasses she often wore that we are reminded of her wearing. This is Michael Washington. I am going to sign off and say thank you very much for allowing me an opportunity to share this bit of black history, relevant black history with you. Thank you all very much.